New updates to the Blurp Twitch extension are coming your way in the beginning of November. Here's everything you need to know. Users with a Blurp account can now access their personal accounts in stream on Twitch. When you sign in, you don't have to search for your stuff anymore because it'll be right there and available to use as long as it matches the stream's rating. Streamers have a lot of new things to look for. We've simplified stream setup. Rather than copying and pasting a URL, Setup now has a widget that can simply be dragged and dropped into your OBS to activate Blurp. Once dragged in, Blurp will be active, no further fiddling required. We've updated the Blurp configuration, so once you're logged in, the config will now automatically show your boards and favorites without having to search for them in the extension. The new Simple Mode is live. In Simple Mode, eight pre-selected soundboards can be used. You can use your own boards or keep the list of blurps recommended for the chat to use in-stream. Recommended boards show up as default but can be easily customized by clicking the Edit Soundboards option. Because Simple Mode is a trimmed-down version of the full blurp extension, users won't be able to access their accounts in-stream using Simple Mode. You can also add tiers to the boards in the Edit Soundboards section. For example, you can unlock different soundboards for subscribers in Tiers 1, 2, and 3. Doing this could allow Tier 2 and Tier 3 followers to access a more exclusive collection of boards than Tier 1 followers. Pricing customization has been updated with more flexibility. Now, streamers can set up a price to unlock a full soundboard, but they can also set the bit price of each individual blurb on that board. Streamers have the freedom to choose what costs what on their boards, so jump scares might cost more than creepy footsteps, or whatever you decide. Blurp has also added a blacklisting and blocking ability. You can now blacklist specific terms, boards, and blurps. Followers and viewers can now also be completely blocked from accessing Blurp. If you'd like to use a soundboard that was created by someone else but don't like one or two of the included blurps, those blurps can be hidden by clicking on the eye icon. Hiding them will keep them from being found or used by your viewers. Along with these great updates, Blurp is also maintaining and improving features like the User Cooldown Adjustment Tool, which puts you in control of how often blurps can be played by each individual user during your stream. This can be set to hear no more than one blurp every few minutes, or can be taken all the way to zero if a blurp barrage fits the vibe of your stream. If you have any questions or suggestions about these updates, hit us up on Twitter or Discord at Blurp.